Hello everybody and welcome to the very first nail art video of 2023. I have a lot more stuff filmed so it's just a matter of getting it out. I know that my channel has been kind of boring since the start of the year but I have been cat sitting and I've been sick a lot so there's all sorts of those sorts of things that have put a spanner in the works so to speak. But I'm looking forward to the rest of this year and getting lots of videos out. I have been getting back into the swing of things in 2023 in terms of art and different projects that I'm working on so I'm really looking forward to it. So this nail art is kind of a disaster but in all fairness I haven't painted my nails in over a month so I'm kind of a little bit rusty. In any case I wanted to do a winter snow themed nail so I thought I would do some snowflakes. Uh, first time doing snowflakes so I guess maybe you can be not too harsh on me uh, but it recently snowed in Stockholm again finally after ages of just extremely warm weather so that's kind of where the inspo comes from even though I guess we're kind of ending entering or no getting closer to the end of the winter season So for this nail art, I used a variety of different brands of nail polish. There's this one that I've seen pop up lately called Atelier Rouge. And it has a really nice uh, bottle and it's a little bit more expensive than uh, some of the other nail polish available. And this one is actually, uh, the blue one is actually the limited edition. Blue Magic it's called. Uh, but unfortunately the nail polish uh, it's really thin so you have to put a lot of layers on which isn't really ideal when doing nail art just because you're already setting yourself up to be doing a lot of layers anyway so it's kind of good if you can skip over some of the layers otherwise it's really easy to um, ruin the whole design by not letting one of the layers dry enough. So then I also had some French tip natural white color which is almost running out um and then the other one the very shiny silver one is from h&m space race is the color and actually this one is really awesome and since it's h&m it's really cheap uh but h&m nail polishes are surprisingly quite good so if you are looking to get into nail art and you kind of are on a budget then i would recommend h&m um maybe don't buy clothes there but yeah nail polish is all good maybe i don't know And again we're doing the classic nail dot at all. This one's also from H&M but I wouldn't buy it honestly because it basically fell apart after the first time trying it so I had to glue it back together. So don't buy that but there are some other brands in Sweden that I've seen so I'm pretty sure you can find them in shops these days. They're not so much a specialty item anymore. Uh, so yeah take a look around if you're trying to find something similar. If I was going to do this nail polish design again, I'd probably do an ombre from a darker blue to a lighter blue and then having the snowflake because I think that they would let the snowflake show up better. Because when I started this design, I thought that I wouldn't need to use the white. I was just going to use the sparkly holographic silver. Um, but then I noticed that the design really was kind of losing itself. 
so that's why I added the white but if I did an ombre then the shifting in color of the background would possibly show off the snowflake a little bit better So just want to thank everybody for watching this video and hopefully coming back to my channel throughout the year. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a decent year, although the winter has really sucked. But we've got to stay positive, it's only February so it's too early to be pessimistic and honestly I have been reaching some of my New Year's resolution goals. So for me, the year, it's not too bad, honestly. Hey Dawn!